This is going to be a little story of how we went from this to this and finally to this in 24 hours. The drive to the start of the hike was between 4 to 5 hours, however we stopped in Hamilton to get us some trail goodies as we have been busy working over the week. As we are approaching the trail let me tell you, the most time consuming and hectic part of the hike is when you get out of the car and when you are double checking your bag and belongings. I'm going to leave this part raw for you to listen to us, I find it pretty funny. Oh, yeah, I took a half for it, yeah. Are you taking your fleece? Oh, I'd like to, yeah. I forgot about that. What's wrong? I just put the key in. I had it a second ago. Honestly. It's going on. Oh. Right. Oh my god, I'm like, where's my phone? <laughs> now that it is finally time to start the hike, I can tell you that we found this hike through All Trails app, which said that this is a moderately challenging hike that can take up to six hours to reach the hut. The first part of the hike was through a beautiful forest with some very big and old trees. The forest was so beautiful, so we decided to have our first lunch stop just before exiting the tree line. And now to the biggest reward of this trail, seeing the volcanoes for the first time from the top of the mountains. I found the hike to be pretty hard. Maybe it was the fact that I had a heavy backpack and it's been a while since I had done a hike, or the fact that the first 8 to 10 kilometers was a constant uphill. But I'm lucky enough that I have a person to split the bag weight with. Oh, who am I kidding? Matthew is a real champ and carried the tent and gas for cooking. You're the best, Matthew. We are very sun aware, especially here in New Zealand. We regularly reapply our sunscreen to our exposed skin, which is face, ears, lips and hands. If you have been in the mountains before, you will know that hiking equals a constant change of layers. So here you can see, as we were slowly approaching the highest point of the hike, I needed to add a wind layer. We were kind of in a little rush to get to the hut as it was getting late, but I couldn't wait anymore for food, so I had to have another little lunch break. We were properly powered by hummus and cliff bars this whole adventure, not complaining at all. Right, now the last stretch to the hut. The hut is located in the river valley, so we had to walk downhill to get to it. The thought that this downhill is tomorrow's uphill was a bit painful. 
I found it funny how after 6 hours of walking in dry conditions, just 5 minutes before reaching the hut, there was a high chance of falling into a river. But we didn't, so that's very good. As soon as we got to the hut, we started putting the tent together. Perfect timing as we finished just as it was getting pitch black. It was starting to get very cold and I had a feeling that it's going to be below zero degrees at night. I don't think I'm gonna get dressed, like get changed, there's no way. No? I'm just gonna sleep how I am. As I mentioned before, I knew that it was going to be a cold night. Ice? Did you say ice? Oh my god. I was sleeping with my down jacket and in my down sleeping bag. I was warm except for my toes, so that kept me up at night. It was very cold in the morning. Sitting in the tent was my favorite place to be at that moment. Now as we are starting to make our way back, you might be wondering why we didn't stay at the hut. Well, the answer is simple. The hut was first come, first serve basis, and it was full when we reached it. We didn't even expect to have a space at the hut because we started the hike relatively late. Therefore, my recommendation, always prepare to not have a space at the hut. As we were approaching the highest point of our hike, the most incredible thing happened. We saw a New Zealand falcon, which is an endemic bird to this country. Not only we saw him, but we got a good look at him as he was perching just 20 meters from the trail. So you said they're not common here? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think they're that common. Oh, I'm on camera. <laughs> no, I'm no expert, but I don't think they're that common. Getting that close, I think, is wow. <laughs> yeah, it was so beautiful. Goodbye volcanoes and hello the last little stretch through the woods. By little I mean another two hours of downhill, which of course felt incredibly hard. What kept me going by this point was the thought that we will be stopping for a coffee on our way home. But that's not all we stopped for. We treated ourselves properly. What an incredible weekend.